This is the Retro Q50 Smartphone Watch GSM and GPS NT Loss Kit Tracker. We're going to unbox it and show you how you're going to set it up together with your phone. Okay, so this is the box. If you open it, we've chosen the blue color. There are two other colors that's available. Well, that's just a color preference. Let's show you what's in the box. You have a USB cable that would help you charge, but there's no plug. So therefore, you need to use it together with any of your plug points or computer. You also have a very tiny screwdriver. All right. So this is what you need to open the back of the phone with. All right. So in order to start this, you also need, need an active SIM card. A SIM card that is um, with data because this phone requires data in order to track the GPS and also to track its uh, eligibility. So let's start right now. At the back of the watch, there is a barcode and also an ID number. This ID number that's here, that's the unique identification that pairs this phone, uh, rather this watch, with your mobile phone. I'm going to use an Android today, for example, to see how we're going to track it together. You need an app, and that app will talk to this phone, not through the SIM card, not through the phone number, but through that ID number that's at the back here. Okay, so before we do anything else, um, let's insert the SIM card, and I'll show you how we do that, and then we'll pair the phone together with the watch. Use the tiny screwdriver that was given, and just unscrew all the four screws that's behind the, the metal panel. Unfortunately, it's not magnetized, so make sure you keep the screw in a pop, pop open the back. The battery will, will also open, and the battery is actually connected with a wire, so be careful. Put it together. Now, the SIM card is at the bottom. You can lift it up. Okay. With the SIM card, the one with the angle at put that at the bottom left uh, sorry bottom right put it in there let it lie flat and then close the cover once you've closed the cover there's a locking mechanism like your phones and then the sim card would not come up put back the battery case flip it around and this is the on button Meanwhile, on your phone, go to Google Play, if you have an iOS, go to Apple Store, and look for SE Tracker. SE Tracker is a program to use. Click on it. I already got it installed. You can update it if you, have, if you want the latest software. Once you open the app, the SE Tracker, it will give you the option for uh, if you have logged in before, your account name and your password. But if this is your first time doing it, you click on register. But before you click on register, okay, go back if you have already clicked. Very importantly, you need to choose your area. All right, um, it could be Europe, Africa, North America, South America. <laughs> wherever that is, Hong Kong, and because we're in Malaysia, we chose Asia and Oceania. Okay, that's very important. If that area is wrong, you won't be able to, to connect with your phone. Click on register. Okay, the license, this is what we said earlier. This is the one that connects back with the digits that's on the back of the phone. Okay, this is the unique ID. This is how the app and the phone talk, I mean, and the watch speak to each other. Okay, then comes the account, which is your account name. So in other login sequence, this would actually be called the username. This nickname, we found out, this is actually the name that you want to put for your child. So if you have several children with several watches, you can provide different nicknames so you know whose watch you're tracking. 
this is the phone number now don't be confused it's not the phone number of the child but this is your own phone number so in case you want if you forgot your password it will resend it to you here and this password and the re password is actually for the account login so just remember the account and the password is up here and down here and once you've done that you click OK and you're done you have set it up okay so once the app is set up we bring back the, f the smart watch you turn it on from the side here the power button there we go hello all right what's important is to see your sim card it's active and that you have a data line now yeah the, this is a LED screen and it's only on for a few seconds so it's very fast so once you see that then you know your data line is on and it's functioning it has an E for edge now how do you set the time how do you control the the watch everything is done via the app so basically the phone is just as is all right the child would have this the child will be able to communicate with you by calling um, the features are if the phone numbers are not on the app if you put, do not put it into the address book then nobody can call your child that's how which is good there is a map to track the GPS location there is ability to chat both voice as well as also um, um, text messages that can be sent back and forth and well the control is all in the app so the watch is as is this is the part to keep it charged um, the buttons read the manual the manual will tell you what the buttons are for um, two SOS numbers to call press here for a long time and it will be able to send a recorded message all right to pick up a phone to end the call or to stop the alarm ringing if it's sounding it's all on the left side now one more thing is we realize this is through trial and error is that there's no way to off the phone yeah so once you have once you've got the phone on it's always on there's no button that you can press to switch it off but we realize the only way to off is to remove the back panel remove the sim card and hold the battery the battery back in place then when you press this button again the phone will turn off and you'll see the word buy all right that was the way that was the only way that we could find out if you if anyone else know how to switch off the phone by pressing or depressing several buttons do let us know but that's all we know for now everything else is all done in your settings both okay what the SOS numbers to call um, the phone book the time zone and all the others the manual explains the rest but this is just to give you a guide we hope that you will enjoy yourself with the new watch and it will provide a little bit a little bit sense of security so at least you know where your child is going it's a good deal thank you for watching the video and we hope you like it see you then bye